Well, hello everybody. Today, we're talking tires and wheels to a certain extent. These are 35s off of my two-door. They're Nitto Trail Grapplers. And they're 35 by 11 and a half by 17. And you all know my opinion on with the popular, the popular thing to do nowadays is to, um, you know, is to go wide. And the best off-road tires are narrower than wider in pretty much all circumstances except possibly trying to float on top of snow and ice, really, really deep snow and ice. You want to have a long, a long track and wide, so kind of like a snowshoe is what you're, you're after, but in every other instance, narrow, sand, rocks, mud, I believe, except, you know, you know, deep mud where you need aggro tires, but that's, you know, that's so rare, it's unbelievable. Uh, narrow works best. And these are 35. See that 35 by 11 and a half by, by 17, and these are the trail grappler mud terrains. Now, I want to go, I want to go over to uh. Nitto Ridge Grappler 11 and a half, 35 by 11 and a half by 17 for the for the Rubicon. They've got 33s. It's got 33s on it now. And they're um there's, there's still life in them and everything, but there, there were some instances when I was out that, um, hang on a second. There were instances where I was out on my trip this past summer, and um, I could have used some more ground clearance. And, Let's be honest, the BFGs, they're not really that true to size, like, these are 33s, but they don't, they don't measure 33, whereas the Nittos are closer, if not right on, to size, so. Because I dragged my belly pan a couple of times, most of the time I was okay, but I knew if I got into anything more, I mean, there's a couple of videos I have where you can hear the bottom dragging when I was at uh, Resurrection River, I think it's called, in Alaska, and I was going up over some berms, and you could hear the bottom. I've got skid pads and everything, but they were, it was dragging. <clears throat> so, I've been trying to get the ridge grapplers in that size, and all the tire places around here, it's in Canada, could only get um, four of them, and I need five because I got the spare. <clears throat> so I was tinkering around with, you know, going down to the States to get because the States has got tons of them, but there's some supplier here that is monopolizing Nitto and uh, um, the parent company, I forget the name now, um, of it, I have to look it up, uh, it's another off-road tire, um, I was looking at them, but I like the, I like the Nitto Ridge Grapple, so Anyway, I was, you know, going to do all this stuff. I was going to buy the four here and then go down to the States and grab one and bring it back. It was all traveling and expense and blah, blah, blah. So I phoned one place in London, just around the corner from me, front in Canada, just around the corner from where I live. And, um, and they said, we can get, we have 11 and we get 22 more coming. And I said, are you sure it's the right size? And they said, yeah, 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 we got 11. <clears throat> so... So can you get me five? Yeah, be here on Monday. So, and the nice thing with the 11 and a half is it'll fit on 
it'll fit on the stock because the, the, the way they kind of designed the JL, it'll take 35s and it's got a two inch left. The Jeep's got a two inch left. I think the people that had this vehicle before me had 35s on it or something because these tires were pretty much brand new on the rims, which is great. I did my whole trip with them. But um, the 11 and a half by 35 will, will fit on this rim, no problem. It's the, you can go down to a minimum of seven, and I think these might be seven and a half or seven, but anyway, with a maximum of 10 inch width, uh, rim width. So the, the 35, 11 and a half will fit, whereas the 12 and a half, I think it needs a wider rim to fit on. And I mean, you can do it, but a lot of tire places won't do it because it's gone past the, the 11 and a half is perfect. Plus it's narrow like I like. It's gonna stay within the fenders of the Jeep. Uh, and they're really a nice tire. They're uh, <coughs> what we're load rating. They're a light truck tire. And, uh, yeah, so I've got them coming. And um, I'm pretty excited about it because it's going it's to give me, you know, more clearance. It's going to look better because the, the, and it's not going to really, you know, it looks, it's just form following function. So it's going to look that it's a function, functionality of the 35s. So it'll get me, it'll give me better approach angle, the front departure angle in the middle, and the departure angle going up stuff. Well, you know, <clears throat> to, to get the same uh, approach. Yeah, hello everybody. To all anyone that responds to me, you know who you are. I really appreciate it. Thank you. There it is. These are the new tires, 35, 35 <clears throat> by 11 and a half by 17. Narrower, uh, Nitto Ridge Graveler. <clears throat> I just got them put on the other day. Beautiful tires, I mean, look at these things. Great overlanding off-road tire, they're narrow. Yeah, they're a little heavier. The uh, stock, which those tires, the um, uh, BFG KO2s, <clears throat> they're a good tire, but the ones that they put on the, these stock, which those were, were uh, 33, and they're C-rated. But when you take them off and play with them, like push down on them, they've got a pretty flimsy sidewall, it seems. This is an E-rated tire. It is, there are heavier. This combination, this is the stock wheel, and they fit on the stock wheel. And as you'll see, I'll show it, everything fits. I mean, I didn't have to do anything. I thought I was gonna have to modify all this stuff. I was looking at making this come up higher for the brake light. Would it clear down here? But it has the Mopar um, tailgate reinforcement, uh, or spare tire reinforcement on the tailgate. And it fits the 35. And if you went, if you went 37, you'd, it, it would probably skim it. It'd be pretty close. It'd be close. But you could probably go 37 on this, but you'd probably have to lift this up somehow. Get a, there's kits you, I didn't have to do any of that with this. It's got 410 gears in it, <clears throat> which pulls this no problem. It's got the low, ultra low transfer case. That's why I'm going four low. This will be fine. And it clears under here. As far as I can see, it clears this way, but if you are off-road and you hit the uh, sway bar disconnect, you got that, that beautiful beam axle articulating the way a real four-wheel drive should, right? Real four-wheel drive, not IFS, solid axles. <clears throat> you know, it, it, won't, it won't hit because it's really not that much wider. I measured it across. I, don't, I think it's less than an inch wider than the stock tire it's just taller you know it's it's two inches but really it's an inch you know it's like when you're on a lathe and you peel off a thou the two thou you got to be careful if it's not calibrated on the lathe sometimes it's right on the thing so if you, when you're just concentrating on the dials it'll peel off a thou but it is a thou on that if it's not you can put in a thou and you're actually taking off 2,000 because it's radial. But anyway, 
this. You know something? I'll take, you know, some people say I'll take a dog over some people. But yeah, I agree with that too. I agree with that, absolutely. Dogs are fantastic. Some cats are pretty awesome too. I got some squirrels and chipmunks running around that are pretty okay, you know? But I'll take this over some people, a good tire over some people, because it's dependable, reliable, won't let you down. There's some people out there that will let you down big time and crush you. This, this is not going to let you down. Even if it gets a puncture and you have a tire repair kit, sidewall, you got a spare, won't let you down. The lathe won't let you down. You set it up, you make whatever you want, weld it up, won't let you down. This stuff will not let you down. Human be some human beings, on the other hand, yeah, let you down big time. Lie right to you, and anyhow, we're getting off topic of the channel. Um, and those people, those people know who they are when they watch my video. <clears throat> Person. Person. Anyhow, yeah, things like this take you to beautiful places, camping. This is, this is it. You can rely on it. You look after it, it'll look after you. Can't say the same about some people. <clears throat> so here we go. <clears throat> a little bit of a rant there, sorry. But no, so that's the accumulation of it. Got it all, I had a little bit of a balance problem with these. They use bead balancers inside, but these tires are pretty close to being balanced. So we started switching them around. It still had the steering had a little bit of a thing, and it was kind of twitchy and pulling. So they took all the tires off, took them all apart. Great shop I went to, and they just did the traditional wheel weights and balanced it. Solid as a rock, unbelievable. Dead straight, take your hand off the wheel, track straight. No, none of this at you know whatever speed and no pulling. It's just dead on, perfect. I'm really happy, as you can probably see, about by, by these tires. That's, um, yeah, bring this in here. Happiness is a good off road tire. Yeah, so. Back in a sec. So here they are. I mean, look at these babies. Look at these babies. Wow. That's pretty slick. So I got a little bit more left in the oven. The others were from that trip last year. They, uh, they were, they're still good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually sell them. They're, um, they do have some tread left in them, but they were getting pretty long in the tooth. But, um, let me get around here. Yeah. Yeah, they're a pretty, pretty nice tire. I've got, um, like I said in the other video, the other tire that I had was the uh, Nitto um, Trail Grap or Mud Terrain, which is on the two door, which is right here. So I've got. I got these. These are the actual mud terrains, and these are the ridge grapplers. They're an all-terrain. And since this is a kind of an overlanding vehicle, so is this. But this one, if you get if you get into some heavy, you know what, in this mud, whatever, these tires are insane, and these ones will be good too. You know, they're uh, they're not a you know a mud tire. They're just an all-terrain. They do. Kind of a jack of all trade, a master of none, but they'll get you out, you know? That's what I wanted. These ones, and these ones are surprisingly quiet on the road. Like, that's amazing, you know? Like, it's a mud terrain, and they're, and they're pretty quiet. They have a little bit of a hum to them, but really not bad. I've heard some people going down the road with pickups and with tires on there going, crack, 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 and I'm going, how can you stand that? It's crazy. You know? These are quiet, and these, these are super quiet. Like, there's nothing. I thought the BFGs, they're quiet. But these things are. They're as quiet, if not quieter. So, 
Yeah. So anyhow, hang on. So here we are in the off-road tire heaven. Nitto trail grappler, Nitto ridge grappler, both 35 by 11 and a half by 17. Narrower width, because that's what works best off-road in all, pretty much all off-road conditions that you can name, save floating on top of snow, uh, where you get snow fall and then it melts and you get an ice crust and then you get snow again and guys go out and they snow wheel, a big wide balloon tire and like down at about three PSI. That's the only instance I can think of where a wider tire works better. Narrow tires work better in every circumstance, which is normal. That floating up on snow, that's that's a specific thing. And guys build rigs just to do it, old TJs and stuff like that. They put the big balloon tires on them. But anyway, I'm getting off the topic. So here we are in off-road tire heaven. The Nitto. I would recommend these tires to anyone. These ones I haven't put many miles on, but these ones, they've been to hell and back in the oak and the bush everywhere and i'm telling you man they'll they just work and they work and they work good on road too so anyhow if you like the content if you like the stuff you know i try to put some stuff out there that i've learned over the years and uh like and subscribe and comment please comment and share share it around show people whatever it's not because i want to monetize or what money it's got nothing to do with that this is it's i just like to get the word out and have people leave nice comments like a couple of you have i really appreciate that it makes this really great so anyhow wild bill from jeep and tire central overlanding central out having a, having a little brew over and out.